Hello everyone, welcome once again to Even Believers Network. My name is Ajim Constant. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that as we go again into your word, that you will grant us comprehension, that you will give us understanding, that you help us to hear these words, not only to hear them, but also to do them. Because your word says, He that heareth these words of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a man that built his house upon the rock. And when the storms came and the winds blew, it did not fall because it was founded upon the rock. I pray also today, Lord, that as we hear your word, that your word will have the capacity by your spirit to do the things we have heard in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you once again for joining me. I was speaking the last time about the word of God being the person of God and that in doing the word of God we are exhibiting the person of God and they also said that we're going to come to understand what exhibiting the person of God concludes into now when the word of God is spoken to you the Bible says in John chapter 1 like we said last time that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and then the word was God so we came to understand that that word is God now if the word is God it simply means that when God speaks his word to you God is actually releasing a, an element of himself to you it means also that when we obey the word of God or when we do the word of God what we are actually doing is that we are expressing the personality of God do you understand? Because since the word of God is God, then we can also substitute and say when God speaks his word to you, he expects you to obey his word. We can also say that when God speaks God to you, he expects you to obey God. When you obey God and when you do God in that obedience, you become more like God. Do you understand now? So whenever God speaks his word to us, God is releasing a measure of himself to us. In our adherence to that word, we are also going to be expressing a measure of the person of God. In expressing a measure of the person of God, then we become like God, which means we get to a point whereby our obedience to God, Mando Shakadabashta, our following of God, you understand now, our movement with God begins to shape us and shape us into that way that God is, that we get to a point where the element of that are present in the person of God begins to rub off on us because we are having fellowship with the word of God, which is God. Now, I remember the Bible very well when Abraham went to the mount to get the commandments for them. When Abraham, sorry, when Moses rather went to get the commandments for them on Mount Sinai, you see that when Moses was on the mount, he had fellowship with God for quite a while. Now, because of the fellowship that Moses had with God, what happens was that after a number of days, Moses coming down from the mount, his face began to shine. Now, if you look at the book of 1 John chapter 1 and verse 5, the Bible says that God is light. Now, we said God is light. And because Moses was having fellowship with that light, he had no other choice than to come down from the mount exhibiting the light of God because he had fellowship with the light of the person of God. And God is light. Now, if we say God is water, if Moses went up to the mount and communicated with God and God is water, Moses is going to come down with a level of wetness on his body, on his clothes. Now, the reason why he's coming down with wetness is because he's having an interaction, a high level of interaction with a person who is water, hence he must become wet. Now, the Bible says that the word of God is God. So when we have fellowship with God, we are receiving measures of God. When we receive measures of God and begin to express the measures of God, we are taking a conformation that is becoming like God. Now, the reason is this. The more a person expresses the person of God through the obedience to the word of God, that person begins to take on the shape of God because of that word. The word of God always shapes a person into the person of God. 
I'll say it again. The word of God always shapes a person to the person of God. So the more you listen to the word, the more you do the word, the more we exhibit the word, what happens is that we also have shaped into the person of God. Then after a while, people can see nothing but the light of God radiating from our face. Now you see that the Bible says in the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 10, it says, in whom the fullness of the Godhead dwelleth bodily. Now, how did Jesus come to that point where the fullness of the Godhead dwelleth bodily? Fullness of God dwelleth bodily in him is because Jesus was given full obedience. He was given precedence. He was given everything to the Word of God. He was given everything to what he had. That's why the Bible says that Jesus said, Whatsoever I see my father do that, I also do. Now, in seeing his father do those things and him doing it, because the word of God mm, is God. Now, Jesus doing that is expressing God, is causing that word, that God, that Elohim faculty to shape him. In shaping him, in finding more expression, more life, more exhibition of the person of God. Now, when the next day comes again and he does everything in details, is having a shape that's becoming more like God. The point now comes where the where people now begin to see nothing but God through Jesus. In the same way, you also, as you listen to the word of God, as you obey the word of God, because the word of God is God, you also will begin to exhibit the very personality of God, such that at your at the speed of thought, you just think of something, and that thing begins to happen. I'll, Ever, it must come from the point of your interaction with the word. In the next series, we'll continue from here. God bless you.